Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I've made a GPO trading tier list, but I was actually banned from the GPO trade hub and I've appealed like over five times. And honestly, I, I, I'm not getting back in. The mods just don't like me. They have like personal beef with me, but it's cool. It doesn't matter. I'm making another tier list and everything's good. Okay, so for this new update, I basically didn't include anything new that didn't have like significant value. Like let's say it was less than like a Pika. I didn't really see any point in uh, including it because this is based off my previous tier list if you watch that video everything here is practically the same and then i added like a couple new items like the start guns you know how we have a new chest limit the the new ball head or resurrected ball head the coyote outfit etc and yeah i'm gonna try and speed run this because i don't want to take too long because usually these videos take a while and yeah let's get right to it okay so obviously the usual marine cap and marine cape is going to be in the highest tier s plus plus honestly these shouldn't even be included in this video because you can trade for them like but it's very very unlikely but i feel like there is like a certain limit to what you can trade for and it is possible eventually to trade for one of these but you have to be like top like three percent richest players in the game so it would be very unlikely but you know you never know just keep on grinding okay obviously in s tier next we got the prestige weapons we got prestige candy cane is doing pretty well then under it is prestige lancer and then uh prestige rocket honestly i can separate these two because prestige candy cane is a little bit more significant um in value compared to these two but honestly they're all prestige weapons at the end of the day so i feel like you would need like a cc ads with prestige lancer to get prestige candy cane and then vice versa uh, for uh, Prestige Rocket, you would need heavy ads to get Prestige Lancer. And yeah, that's about it for the Prestige items. Okay, and then CC is going to get its own tier, obviously, because um, there's nothing that's like super equivalent to CC. Where is it? Uh, I don't even see it. I'm always blind when I'm making these videos. Uh, let's see. Where is... Okay, there. Right there, I'm blind. Okay, next we got Prestige Bag. Prestige bag is going to be an A plus tier. You would need prestige bag and like two eyes to get CC. Under your prestige bag is going to be Soul King Scar, wherever, is, wherever uh, it is. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I'm pretty blind. And then after Soul King Scar, let's see, we got, uh, what do we have left? Okay, yeah, we got Jester Fit. Honestly, I feel like these two still have really, this kind of like area section has always been practically the same. Even some other items that are similar. Okay, we got uh, the Mythical Chests. I'm gonna put that uh i'm gonna put that low a tier and then we'll see we got i i is more than the mythical chest honestly the more i think about it i think this mythical chest should be in b plus tier just because of the fact that there's a little bit of a significant difference between the mythical chest and the eye i would say you could probably give like a mythical chest and like an ope for i currently uh next we got buddha buddha's lowering in demand you know that's how it always is so buddha would be I would put it at above the mythical chest for now. Then under the mythical chest, we got Venom, wherever it is. And then under Venom, we got Ope. Then under Ope, Mochi, and then Tori. There are a couple items that are going to fit in B plus tier. World Ender would be below Venom, but above Ope. And then Flowers, that would be above Venom next to mythical chest. I would put it above the mythical chest. I would say they're about the same currently. Uh... And honestly, I would say that's... Oh, wait. Um, the start guns, the start guns, I would put a little bit above Ope currently. All right, now under Tori, we do got Iceborne Rapier, wherever that is. Uh, oh, yeah, Kyoku. Okay, that's the one. That's the one item that I was forgetting heavily. So Kyoku is doing pretty good right now. Uh, I would say it's under Buddha, but above Flowers and Mythical Chests uh, decently. With You could probably get uh, I with... Kyoko and like an Iceborne Rapier. Alright, so there it is. And then under Iceborne Rapier, I would just put the rest in this for uh, this tier, for B plus tier. I would put Cupid Queen's Dress under there. And then you could probably maybe get like something around one of these three with uh, Azure set. You know, it's not doing so good anymore. Alright, so next I'm going to go to the variety area. So this is for items specifically that don't have a lot of demand. But I would say are significant in value. Like it kind of like fluctuates because no one can really tell what they're worth it kind of just varies which is why it has variety as the name so for this one immediately i would put uh the two gifts this is gift to lancer and gift to shield you know don't really have a lot of demand but i could see like someone potentially overpaying for them also i would put shield and lancer in you know just not really great demand but 
they're worth something, I guess. Okay, immediately, I'm going to move on next to the fruit order. So it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to go Ido, Paw, Age. You know, they don't really have great demand right now. Uh, Pika. Pika is going to be... Uh, should I put it? Um... I would put in C plus tier. I mean C tier. And then after Pika's like two legendary chests. So I'm gonna put it above the legendary chest, obviously. And then we got Magu, Mera, Suna, and then what fruits? And then we got Goro. Yeah, I'm gonna put them at the end. I'm gonna put Goro, Hie, and then Zushigura. Uh Hie is a little bit more than Goro right now, so I would say that's the fruit value for right now. In B tier, I'm gonna put the five legend chest because that's currently the max amount of chests that can be traded at a time. I just realized that I actually put gift of fruit in variety. Uh honestly, it would still be variety. Gift of fruit, honestly, I'm sure like most of you don't even know what that is anymore. But it was like this item during the Christmas event. I think it was like a year or two years ago. I don't remember. But honestly, there's so very few of them. So honestly, I feel like it would be worth a lot, but it has no demand. So it's just going to be put in variety. Uh, I meant to put gift of shield in variety next to gift of lancer. That's where it is. Uh, the SP items, SP reset and dark crew. Honestly, I should just remove those, but they're still in this tier list. So I'm just going to put them in variety because why not? Honestly, they're Robux items. So you could easily maybe get like a fruit for them if you get lucky. Okay, for the boats, I'm going to put striker. A little bit above the five legendary chest mark i would put hoverboard below it i would put a coffin below it too wherever coffin is next i would put elo hammer a little bit above hoverboard wherever it is um all right right there you know honestly it lowered significantly personally i believe hover i mean elo hammer should at least be like mochi or tori by now it's one of the very first event items that ever come out but you know i don't decide values so who cares i did forget to put yami that would be in d tier honestly it would go ito would be the lowest obviously it would go like kage yami paul and then ito for the anniversary event items these would also be variety except the lantern the lantern could be put next to the pika honestly it has pretty good demand santa hat that's going to be variety elo egg i would put it in variety honestly because honestly it has a lot less demand than uh elo hammer but honestly i'm just going to put it in uh ib plus tier now for the armor would be in d tier obviously it would be first the red set then the yellow set honestly these aren't even like worth fruits that much anymore green set honestly i would put below it too I, I would say with the set though you could easily get it's like one of those things that have like not like great demand but when they're put together you could probably easily get a fruit in either c or d tier uh, the blue, I'm going to put a little bit higher. I'm going to put it at the end of C tier. Honestly, you could get like some of these fruits. I'm just putting it at the end because like I said, uh, low demand. And then purple, definitely around there too. I accidentally have a duplicate. Bells, immediately a variety. I don't think I've seen anybody that's ever wanted bells. Core, that's going to be high D tier. And honestly, no, no, I'm going to put it near Mare. Honestly, core has a lot more value now because it's a lot more useful. And it's even more than Kraken Core, surprisingly, because Kraken Core is just not as useful. So I'm going to put Kraken Core, like, I'm going to put it low C tier. Uh, if I'm looking here for any other items that I would put in variety, it would probably be this, the Elo, like, hoodie or whatever it's called. And then the, um, the Valentine's boat. And then, uh, the cape as well. So for, um... For the scythe for the halloween event items i put scythe around magu i would say still kind of there uh same with the jester hat honestly finn i would say lower like around agoro probably tokane still pretty high i would put it um high b tier or maybe yeah high b tier uh shades that would definitely be variety honestly another one that i should have put there uh cupid queen wings i'm gonna put low low b plus tier i'm gonna put the resurrected boss head above the cupid wings actually it's doing pretty well right now coyote outfit i'll say around like five chests i'm gonna put it near the striker drums drums could probably get you like a decent fruit so i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it near the pika probably like around a pika rare chest i don't even know why i have this on here honestly that should be I'm going to just put it there below the Edo. The daggers, no demand whatsoever. I'm going to put it near the Goro. These two basically got the same treatment and then they're the better weapons or the other weapons got 
were more expensive. Okay, we got regular boss head that's gonna be around Elo Hammer. These two have practically like stay the same for a while. Bro's pipe dropped hard. So I'ma put it I'ma put it around a legendary chest, around the Magu. Like like I said, these two got the same treatment. These are more than their counterparts. Or actually no, bro pipe doesn't have a counterpart. I'm thinking of Iceborne Rapier. Okay, then we get the event items. I'm just gonna put these in variety. No demand. I don't see anyone offering for them. Lancer, I would say Lancer dropped hard. Lancer is going to be under Pika. The Rocket, that's going to be a little bit under Magu. Actually, no, it's going to be above Magu. I'm going to put it above the Legendary Chest, actually. Near, like, drums. Then we got Trident. I'm just going to put Trident on C tier. You could probably get, like, a Fruit in C tier. Not, like, the high tier Fruits, obviously. But uh, one of the lower ones. Gauntlet is going to be a little bit more lower than Magu. I'm going to put it under the Scythe. Rock Cape one of the it's not one of the best capes anymore so i'm just gonna put it low c tier with near near trident i'm gonna put shisui near trident i like how it's just a picture of the sword the newer capes i would also put a uh, low c tier or like around there the musashi set honestly yes like some of this stuff in this tier list is pretty outdated some of the stuff i could remove that doesn't really have significant value so i'm just gonna put a low d tier now the rockstar outfit I would put that near drums. Near drums. That sounds good. Or no, no. I think I got to mix up. That's the Rockstar outfit. And then the regular one, I'd probably put low C tier. And then the rest of these, I would probably just put low D tier. Honestly, I haven't traded for a while. And if I missed something that you feel like was significant, please let me know in the comments. And I'll try and improve in the next video or the next tier list that I have made. I actually got scammed out of my Prestige Rocket Lancer which kind of like discouraged me from trading for a while and being banned from the GPO trade hub. Also, obviously, uh, rise again in popularity and maybe videos like these will be more enjoyable. That's it for the video guys. Make sure to drop a like and a sub and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.